Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here with a couple of special guests. Tell me your name and your homeroom, please. Brooke Jones from Miss Ritchie's class. Um, Charlotte Shumate from Miss Ritchie's class. So Brooke and Charlotte are going to lead us in the pledge, so go ahead and stand and prepare for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and we're ready for a good full week of school here today. We're excited to see you here, ready to learn. Mm -hmm. And so let's go ahead and kick off that learning now because we're going to talk about our estimistry for this week. Our estimistry this week's a little different than any of them that we've done in the past. And so what we have this time is we have some letters. We have seven letters. Okay, we have the letter, spread yourself out a little bit more over there, Charlie. Can't see your N. We have an N, an A, an S that Charlie's holding. We have a D, a Y, and an O that Brooke is holding, and a W. Okay. So what your task for this estimistry is, is to determine how many words can be spelled by using only these letters. So if we were to shuffle them up, let's give them a little clue, girls. Can you find one that we can do real quickly here? Um, all right, D, A, 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 All right, so we have a D, an A, and a Y. So that spells day, and so that's one of them. So I want to know how many total words can we spell using only these letters, okay? And you can't duplicate it. Like, so I only have one W, so I can't put two W's in a word. And that, that wouldn't work if we did that. Like, okay? All right, so think about, what do you think is a number that's too small and a number you think is too high? And let me give you a clue on this one. It's more than you would think, probably. Or at least it was more than I would think. So lots of words can be spelled using these seven letters. All right, and then of course each day this week, we're gonna give some more clues about what it could be. So let's, let's see what you can find out. All right, also this week, and you guys probably didn't know this, but we have some testing starting this week. Um, we have something called access testing. And so if you're one of our students that usually works with Miss Back, you guys know Miss Back? Yes. yes. I think. She was my kindergarten yes. teacher. Oh, your kindergarten teacher, awesome. So if you're one of the students who now works with Miss Back, uh, she's gonna start some testing this week that's actually gonna last over the next several weeks. And so every kid won't test every day by any means, but we need to make sure that we're nice and quiet when we're by Miss Back's room. Do you guys know where Miss Back's room is now? Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me where? It's um, kind of across from the um, art room a little bit. Yeah, so it's up there in the fifth grade hallway. Every time we go somewhere, Miss Richie always says it's across from the art room. That's yeah. right. So it's up that way. So if you're in that fifth grade hallway or the same hallway of the art room, you need to make sure you're extra quiet because she'll go, she's going to have kids testing in that room. And so we don't want to interrupt their testing. It's really important they do the best. And so I want to wish all those guys, all the kids that work with Miss Pack, best of luck as you do your access testing over the course of the next several weeks. They're going to do good. I'm sure they'll do They're great. They're going to do great. Yes, They're thank you for your, <laughs> thank you for your encouragement. Excellent. Yeah. Also, of course, we've been working on our expectations. Let's talk about hallway expectations for just a moment. Since we want to be quiet in the hallway outside Miss Back's room, what are some other things we should do if we're in the hallway? Um, we should make sure, like, we don't, like, if you have, like, a button and you could scratch across the wall or maybe you, like, accidentally hit the door, that might distract them. Yeah, we definitely don't want to drag anything down the hall, on the wall, because that oh, could scratch it and make it um, look bad. Yeah. Every day we have this, like, circle of things that we do. It's like, um, the Wheel of Expectations. Oh, yes. And so hallway was probably one of those, right? Yeah. Yep. And so what are some things that your class said that you should do in the hallway? Uh, like, don't scratch your buttons on the wall. Um, make sure you're at a voice level zero and doing a fire drill. You should be, like, extra quiet. Okay, good. Voice level zero. What about our hands? Don't. We shouldn't, like, touch, like, touch. drag our hand across the wall. Yeah, but also still, on other I mean, people, too, you right? You can still hug and... Yeah, Probably but for the most part, we want to keep our hands to ourselves, yeah. and that way we can keep some space. That way we're not crowding other people. Observe those personal spaces. Okay, good ideas, and I like the voice level too. Voice level zero in the hallway so that we're not interrupting anybody else. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day today, and I hope that you will be safe, safe respectful, and responsible, and... Respectful and, and
It's, it's always a great day, day to be a Southside Stallion. Bye. Bye.